Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to part 8 of the Smart Repair Van build and this is probably the last video. Bit of nostalgia there walking out of that office, <laughs> didn't think I'd be doing that again. Um, as some of you pointed out to me in the last video, which I never noticed and my sticker man never noticed and nor did any of his staff because there's three people working on my van. There was a typo, he spelt repair wrong there. As <laughs> uh, soon as I was made aware of it yesterday, uh, I sent him a picture straight away and I was down there this morning at about half past eight and they resurrected <laughs> the typo and now it's spelled correctly. So I'm now happy. Uh, I've just done an update on my GoPro. I hope this has stopped playing up now and it will let me record things. We'll find out in a minute how many takes I have to do on this. Uh, in today's video, we are now wiring loads of stuff up. Uh, I've got a reversing camera that I'm installing. A bit bright there, the sun's on me. So, little number plate light and reverse camera kit, uh, which will go to this little five inch monitor. And we're probably gonna mount it up there where the wing mirror, uh, rear view mirror would normally go. So, that's the first thing we're installing today. Uh, Second thing we're going to install, and we'll do a little review on it, and I'm also going to do a giveaway for you guys, is we're going to do this Van True uh, dash cam. So, something that's well worth chucking in the van. So, I'm going to wire that in as well, give you my thoughts on that, and we'll do a giveaway on that as well. Uh, you know the rules, if I do any kind of reviews on this channel, I always tell them I need an extra product so I can do a giveaway. So that's happening. Uh, I spoke to my compressor guy. Now my mains hook up uh, is 16 amp, but apparently it's too thin. Really what you want is a two and a half mil flex. Um, because if you run a one and a half mil flex, even though it's 16 amp, it puts strain on something to do with the motor and the gizmos up the top here. So I have gone and got, um, loads more wire in a two and a half mil nice thick chunky cable so we're going to wire up to this uh hookup plug which i've got and i've got a spare one here so i'm going to do um one kind of 15 meter lead and one 30 meter lead something like that uh and where possible they he said to me use the shortest lead as you can i don't know that much about electrics um so I'm just going to do what they've advised me to do. So we're going to crack on with that. And then we've got some fitting of other odds and sods in the van, more organising, more sorting out. So I'm going to crack on. I'm going to film what we're doing. Uh, we're going to start stripping this back door down and get into the number plate light area. And yeah, installing all this wiring and stuff. So yeah, let's do it. See you in a moment. Next update installing on the other GoPro. That's the one that my old one I use for time lapse. Fingers crossed that one works. So, first thing I've done was checked all the wiring for this camera system, made sure it was long enough to run from front to back of the van, which it does. Second thing we're doing now is we're gonna test the monitor and the camera and power it up individually. So I've got my old test light out here, which we can throw a bit of power to. So I'm going to connect it up to the wires, uh, see if we can power this up before we install anything, make sure this is all working, and we'll go from there. Let me get everything set up, and I'll come back and we'll have a little look and we'll test it. Right, next thing I'm doing is testing it, because you don't want to go through all the aggro of installing it. Uh, I've got my little um, test lead, and you can throw power to it. Yeah, I don't want to install it and then find out it don't work. Hey, there we go. Don't know if you can see that on the screen. Oh, I've just let go of the wire, bear with. There we go. You see that on the screen? Yeah, yeah. Right, so the camera works. That should be sweet. Now we can run the wires. Oh, look, I'm turning around a bend. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. You ain't going to see that on the screen. I presume it's picking up the images and moving it. But yeah, right. Let's get that old... Uh, all the wiring put through now we can start the mission 
It's all working sweet, game on. Right, let's crack on. screen mounted it's not adjusted obviously I'll uh, sit in the seat properly and work that out at the moment I've got the van battery on charge where I've been in and out of the van all week lights on this that the other I've drained the battery a bit and then when the uh, sign guys had it all day they drained it a bit and I've not really drove it nowhere so I've got the battery on charge so I can move all the seat back later sort that so we're mounted up there all the wires run around the roof channel Tidy that bit up there, there we go. Uh, yeah, through the roof pillar, through the back of the bulkhead in the corner. And then we've gone up in this trunking. We've got around the ceiling of the van all the way through. And then we've piped it over the wood going across there. And we uh, show you this end. So we've come around the wood, I've come out of here gone into the panel come down out of a hole here for the time being and now what we want to do is look at this side of it the camera and this wiring and work out where it's going to end up so I'm going to remove this panel and uh, we'll get to the number plate light bit have a little look and start installing this part and come through and see where they're going to plug and join so yeah let's get all this off get the number plate light out get this camera a bit fitted work out the wire, where the wiring is going to go from that. So I used a little crimp set and it, it's like a scotch lock, it locks onto the wire itself but then you have another little push fitting that pushes into the side of it so you don't have to cut the original loom. But we're done, we're in, that's plumbed in and now that's back on. We're taking all that back off another time, I'm not going to paint that today but I will be painting that moulding bit when I get around to it. So all we've got to do now is to get this lot hooked up to that lot through the door somehow <laughs> he says so i'm gonna have a investigate and then i'll get back to you in a mo uh, and hopefully we can get that all piped in and wired up see you in a mo well many hours later that was a mission right that's crimped on there the little connector um, fused as well basically I couldn't find power for the reverse lights now I didn't know the reverse lights didn't work so what we've done um, oh, I'll tell you we got my mate Lee to help as usual uh, um, what we've done is we've bridged the reverse light switch and we've worked out that the reverse light switch is knackered so when you turn the ignition on now there we go the camera's working so I've wired all that up now I'm gonna go get a reverse light switch uh, probably this afternoon or tomorrow change that and then every time I put it in reverse should be sweet so I can now put the back light back in I can now put all this boarding back in it's all wired up and complete. So I'm gonna just crack on and get that done and I'll see you tomorrow. Right, all back together. Got the monitor where I want it. 
Turn the ignition on. Job, job. Don't know whether you see that on the screen, but I can see the edge of my bumper, which is ideal. Yeah, game on. <sighs> oh. Hopefully a dash cam's a little easier to install. We'll have a look at that one next. I'm gonna have a drink and then we'll get cracking with that lot. See you in a month. It was sunny two seconds ago and now it's snowing. <laughs> Welcome to England. You just can't make this stuff up. <laughs> oh my God. Right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm just reading uh, about this camera. I wanna fit this camera. And I've just realised it's got a rear camera. And I've gone through all that aggro. Spent most of the day wiring this van up. Found out my reverse switch doesn't work, which I got fixed anyway. The camera's all installed and done. But I really wouldn't mind installing this dash cam. So I'm just reading about that. Had my doors open and everything, but now we're snowing. So, yeah, bear with. Uh, do a bit more reading and then we'll unpack this and then we'll have a look at it and see if this is any good. Uh, and you can have one of my excellent reviews as well. Uh, yeah, let's do it. See you in a right, let's unbox this thing. Let's have a look at it, shall we? This is the Van True On Dash X4S. This is a 4K 30 um, front mounted camera, and you can have a rear mounted camera 1080p at 30 frames per second, which should be pretty good. Um, I've done a bit of reading. The rear sensor is a Sony and the front sensor um, is another brand. Uh, I don't know why they've chose to do that. This does have optional GPS tracking, but it doesn't come with it. Uh, this is 230 odd quid for this dash cam, so it's quite pricey. So I'm hoping that um, it's good quality and obviously the display is really good. Uh, but you can watch front and rear at the same time, and I didn't realise. So didn't really need um, to fit the reversing camera because it could have just used that, but you live and learn. Let's get it unboxed. All right, they've done a really nice job on the packaging. Everything was very well packed and very posh, um, if I do say so. <laughs> some stickers, if you really want some. You've got a quick start guide. There's the rear camera. Uh, nice, straightforward looks like it's got 3m tape on it easy to fit and it's plugged in via a usb c and uh, we've got about eight meters of cable in there for the rear camera we've got a user manual a quick start guide you have a cigarette lighter plug and usb c power lead which is going to be probably what i'll use and you also get a usb to you normal usb to usb c um and then the holder and then the actual dash cam a dash cam's a nice size uh, and it does seem to be of good build quality in my opinion um all i'm going to do is stick that on the windscreen luckily enough in my custom i have a cigarette lighter in there as well so i'm going to probably plug straight into that uh, and then mount it somewhere in the middle. So I'm gonna get that mounted and I'm gonna just fit this how any of you guys would fit this. Um, I'm not gonna give you all the glorified specs, details and all of the things you get from a glorified YouTube reviewer. We're gonna just do it my way, exactly how you would go and get one and throw it in if you didn't have a clue. Let's see how simple this is. Uh, so I'm gonna stick that on the windscreen, plug the power cable in, let's see what happens. Right, we're off to a flying start. Won't stick to my windscreen no matter what I do. No matter where I stick it, if I lick it, wipe it, clean it, put it on any other window, it will not stick. And I just had it powered up in there and I was fiddling with the screen. It doesn't come with a memory card. 230 quid, no memory card. Uh, and to top it all off, it's just popped my cigarette lighter over there. Either this has just died and popped that, or something's gone wrong with that and popped that. And now I'm a bit reluctant to put it in that cigarette lighter, which I got there, in case that blows that. So um, I don't really know what Van Drew would like me to say. 
but I can only give you my honest opinion on something. It seems okay, uh, but it don't stick to the window, so not really fit for purpose. This is a awful design. There we go. Got it to stick there. Oh, no. This is what I mean. <laughs> you need, you know, this is why I don't do a lot of reviews, because uh, I'll just tell you how it is. If this was my money, I wouldn't be best pleased. I'm not going to use this. I mean, we've got the other lead. All right, okay. All right, let's do it some justice. I am prepared to plug it in uh, to my other USB for a minute. Hold on. I'm going to try and see if I can get this camera to stay down. This ain't happening. Wait a second. So we're not going to use that. No way. I'm not plugging that lead into this USB and killing this one. Let's see what happens with this USB. I'm probably going to regret this. Okay. It's plugged in. Let's plug it into the unit. Right, I plugged it in. Then true. Please insert SD card. Okay. Right, there we go. So it is working. Uh, it's supposed to be 4K. I mean, my camera, I'm filming in 4K30, and this dash cam should be showing you 4K30. And it's very, very pixelated, and I'm not 100% sure that that sensor is true quality. We're, we're filming in 4K30 right now. Uh, I can't even stick it to my windscreen. Right. So, let's just say that I'm just unlucky and there's something up with, you know, the suction thing. I've undone it, stuck it on, done it up. I've tried every which way that you can imagine to get that to stick to this windscreen. Um, and let's just say oh, I'm unlucky and there's a slight issue with the suction thing. No, okay, no problem. But its main job is to be on a windscreen. Uh, and then let's just say that I've just been extra awfully unlucky and this has just blown my fuse in there for no real reason. And this lead could be faulty. Um, all right, fine. So then, obviously I've not wired in the rear camera. So I haven't even looked at that. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother looking at that because it's not going in the van. Here's my neighbour. I'll be back in a sec. So there's my conclusion of the van true dash cam. It's not residing in my van. Um, I can't get it to work as it should. But I do have one to give away. And if you want one, uh, maybe that one in the box is better than the one I've got. You're uh, more than welcome to enter. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning that is to comment on this video and look at the link in the description to my Facebook page. If you're on Facebook, go over there, give it a like. And if you're on Instagram, give us a follow on there as well. That's it. Uh, your normal comments, anything, anyone look comments will automatically be included. And I'll do a live draw next Sunday on the 10th of April. So yeah, that's that. Uh, we had it sat there, needed to be done. I did want to use it. I can't use it, uh, and that's my false and honest opinion on, yeah, on that. If I paid 230 quid, I'd be phoning them up. So make of that what you will. On to other real world pressing issues. We need to get this van finished. I have now wired up my two and a half mil flex. Uh, so that main hookup's done now. We now have another bundle to wire up, which I'll do in a mo. Uh, here, that's 30 metres, and you can see the difference from my old one. That's real thin and that's really thick, heavy duty, so that should work a treat. <coughs> um, my LED lights have turned up for inside the van. Let me get these unpacked and we'll have a look at them quickly. There they are, all unwrapped. 
Now there's 20 on this sleeve, and then I've got another 20 in there. I don't know how many I'm going to need, to be honest. I don't know how bright they are. They all come with um, like sticky backing, and you can obviously slice it off individually and loop them and put them where you want. Uh, there's two lots of wires here, so I'm guessing, yeah, this runs into two power supplies. We'll figure this out, and I can dot them around the roof. I mean, that may be ample. I don't know how bright these are, to be fair. But that's what we're dealing with currently. It's like a candle glowing. And I need a bit, you know, a bit more light in there. So I'm going to take these apart, start having a look. Well, what we do is we power them up first. We'll have a little butchers. Um, yeah, and then I'll start working out where they're going to go. See you in a bit. Right. <laughs> I'm trying to do this one-handed. It is very difficult to hold the probe there and make a contact and hold a camera um there we go they are quite bright but they're not as bright as i thought so i can see me distributing them uh i've probably used both packs to be fair you only need to wire one end up i'm guessing that's so you can daisy chain them um so yeah just use my little power probe there i kept saying it wrong earlier i know what i meant <laughs> so yeah what i'm gonna do is have a look at my wiring options and then see where to put these. Uh, yeah, I'll smash you on a bit of time lapse. I'll figure it out. I'll cut them, stick them everywhere. And uh, yeah, let's light up the van. See you in a mo. Not the brightest at all but plenty good enough for me to see what i need um you can always add more it ain't a problem but in all honesty it's not like i'm going to be working in the dark now is it uh the sticky tape on the back the double-sided tape on them is brilliant real strong but you know that pain in the ass one where you can't peel it off it's that so i ended up using a little pick so i could um pick them off you can't have them all straight and yeah bugs my OCD but uh, it's light it's gonna uh, well gonna save power anyway that's for sure they, they don't use nothing really um, but yeah plenty ample I can sit in there see everything I need um, and for a tenner yeah literally crimped on uh, two connectors put it onto the main wiring, plugged it straight in, done a little, uh, crimped on some little connectors there, plugged them together, linked them up, and you've still got an end here. Well, I've chopped off so it can't touch anything, but you could probably link more up, and make it look good. Right, we are getting there. I've got to put that little lot in the van, and I need to convert that blue lead to that white lead, and I am pretty much done. Um, I don't think I'm going to bother boring you anymore. Uh, these were the last finishing jobs. And uh, I've got tomorrow off. Uh, and I start on Tuesday. So, the fun show commence from there. And uh, this has been my smart repair van build. Uh, I'm over the moon. I can't wait to get out there. 
and start earning some pennies and uh, put it to the test. No, no doubt we'll rip, rip it all apart again at some point and change things and, you know, you'll organise as you go. You'll work out what you do and don't need, pull stuff out, put stuff on. But I just wanted the basics uh, to get out there and get going. So I've got my lighting, I've got my power, I've got my compressor. Put some more goodies down there to get in. Do that one more lead. Covered for all eventualities really. So I'm gonna have a little sort out, I'll wire that lead up and uh, get organizing in here and I'm done. So um, yeah, as always, a massive thanks for watching and we'll see you very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.